my channel we are back for another episode review of catfish y'all <sighs> i'm tired i'm sorry i'm tired it's wednesday it's like 7 30 i'm gonna try to knock this out real quick this is season eight episode 76 shay and cj child did y'all see first of all did y'all see the episode last yeah you seen the episode and if you didn't see the episode shy Girl, go and get you a little drink. <laughs> if you smoke, get you something to smoke. Get your a cigarette, whatever you need. Because, bitch, this one was a doozy. Like, I wasn't even ready for it. And I'd be ready for it. But you know what? As executive couch producer, I've been saying for the longest that they need to come to us with... Um, see, there I go. Knock my shit over. They need to come at us with a little bit more tea. Because it had been born... The last, you know, we in like technically like season 12 and a half, 13, something like that. So for the last couple of seasons, it's been not really given. Last week was crazy. This one was. <laughs> Cha a mess, a hot ass, goddamn mess. First of all, it's first time here. Hey, y'all. Um, Do me a favor. Like this video for me, get this out, share this for me, all that, okay? Um, and check out some of my other videos, okay? Um, also, if, I, I know some of y'all have been hitting me up asking me, would I review, um, was it help? I'm in a secret relationship or something like that. I watched it, and I'll be honest, y'all, it's not really that interesting to me. Not enough for me to review it. Maybe I got to get into it a little bit more. But it's just not really that interesting enough for me to, you know, want to take the time to sit down and watch the notes, uh, take the notes to review. So, no. <laughs> but I do want to get back into doing my catch up with a catfish. So if you are somebody that has been on catfish before, go and check out some of my other videos. Um, I've interviewed, I want to say it's about three people that I've interviewed. Mikey and um, well, blah, 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 Matthew. And, um, it was Matthew. Oh, and, um, Onyx. So far that, I, but catch up with a catfish. Be able to come on here, talk to me live. We'll, you know, chop it up. You'll be able to tell your side of the story. Because based on this episode alone tonight, I felt like a lot of it was... I don't know. Because if you watched my interview with Catch Up With A Catfish with some of the people that have been over before, you already know some of this is real, but it's not. No tea, no shade, no pink lemonade. You know, they, that's what they had said. Some of it is real, but some of it is not. And definitely with tonight, at least for me, I could tell the parts that were real. And it was just some of this that was just like, Okay, I mean, if you're, I'm just saying, child, we finna get into it, though, okay, child? This is, like I said, Season 8, Episode 76, um, Shay and CJ, okay? Now, we have uh, Shay. She's 25 from Pompano Beach, Florida. She has been, oh, by the way, Tallulah Willis is um, guest starring tonight helping um, Neve out. Because, you know, Cammy is off making her little queen zealous. Go ahead, niece. We here for you, girl. Um... Tallulah Willis is the daughter of Bruce Willis, and I believe her mom is Demi Moore. Now, I check this out. Pause for the cause. Y'all know Bruce Willis and Demi Moore. They used to be the couple back in the day. I know I'm probably telling my age, but I don't give a fuck. Y'all already know your auntie is a ratchet ass 42, and I love me some 42 because I look good. But anyways, they used to be the couple back in the day. Baby, they was a fine ass couple back in the day. That was Bruce Willis in his, like, die hard, hey, world. <laughs> Bruce Willis used to have a girl soaking what he was doing back in the day, baby. Okay, anyway, so she's been talking to um, CJ, okay? CJ is from Atlanta. They met on Facebook eight years ago, okay? Now, she said that CJ slid into her DMs. They instantly started talking. Um, one thing about CJ, CJ is a beautiful girl, okay? Very beautiful girl. Got a big-ass tattoo on the titty of Neek. That's the first thing that caught me off guard. I was like, if her name is CJ, 
Why she got a tattoo on her titty say Neek? That was kind of odd. And then on top of that, it kind of looked like a fake tattoo too. That's what I was like, oh. I don't know. But I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Let me say, hey, if you was on there, if you, if you was you, just let me know. Drop that in the comments. Girl, we can chop it up. We can talk about it. Anyway, so now check this shit. All of this shit that happened within the first year of them being together, right? Within the first three months, she met her mama, CJ's mama, Dominique, okay, aka Neek. Now, Dominique is supposed to be the aka Neek that's tattooed on CJ Titty. She got Neek right there, big as that. Which I ain't saying it can't be a that you know tattoo dedicated to her mama. But why would you have a real big like that? Your mama name on your titty like that? I'm just saying, you know, I ain't judge nobody in their tattoos of choice. I'm just saying what it is. Now, um, she also says the reason why she got the tattoo is because CJ's sister, Asia, hit her up because apparently they was cool again. She met them within the first three months. Asia going to tell this girl, if you love my sister, then you'll get her name tattooed on you. So you know what the fuck Shay went and did. She went and got this girl name tattooed on her titty, CJ. Now, it has since been covered up. She said she got it covered up about two years ago, but... Huh? Now, y'all do the math, because I ain't the brightest crayon in the box, but she's 25 now, met her eight years ago. Mind you, all this shit happened within the first year of them being together, of her meeting the mama, the sister talking her into getting a tattoo on her titty, to them, to CJ sending Shay an engagement ring, because she want to get married to her. So, CJ, I mean, Shay walking around with a ring on like they married to them planning a family. They finna have babies. Girl, yes ma'am. All of this shit happened within the first year of the being together. Now check this shit out. This how they have planned on having the babies and whatnot, right? Now, the, the job for Shay was to go out and scout the guys. CJ would give her the approval. When CJ gave her the approval, CJ actually had Shay's fertility, like her a period tracker. Mm -hmm. So she knew when her most fertile days was. So the guy that CJ approved Shay to be mm -mm with, when it was fertile, her extra fertile days, goddamn CJ would go and tell her like, hey, you need to go get it popping. I need you to go lay a little spread it right now. Bust it wide open. Go ahead so we can pop these babies out real quick. Shay would say, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. But somehow, some way, okay, she ended up getting with the dude, okay, at a point in time when her and CJ broke up because they've been off and on for so many years because CJ has a temper about her as well, right? Mind you, in the pictures, real quirky, you see the pretty girl. But she's crazy. She got a temper on her. She be cussing her out when she mad. Call her out her name. Whoop, whoop, yada, yada, yada. So they be getting into it, breaking up the head together and all that and the other. So she ends up getting with the sperm donor. Shay does. Falling for him and ends up getting pregnant. Child in real life. But of course, he was there. CJ approved it, right? So in the midst of them goddamn breaking up, she got them, the baby daddy ends up leaving. So then CJ ends up stepping in. Because, you know, she felt like, you know what I'm saying, I got to be stepdaddy now. Because we had planned this in the get-go. I'm the one to set this thing in motion. You, you know, I, it is what it is. I got to be stepdaddy now. So she ends up, CJ ends up sending Shay like a car seat. Baby diapers, all kind of shit. She ends up actually sending her, right? Now, this is all because, again, within the first year or so of them dating, she, Shay meaning she, gives her credit card information to CJ because CJ want to order some pizza, bitch. Girl, so CJ order a goddamn credit card, whole maxed out bills worth of what the fuck ever. 
goddamn Shay goes to the grocery store to buy her and her baby some kid. I mean, her and her baby some food. And her goddamn card is declined. Bitch, you want to know why? CJ done cleared out her whole goddamn credit card because she done gave her the goddamn credit card information to bitch and go buy some fucking pizza. Child. CJ claims it was her sister Asia that did it. So when she found out her sister Asia did it, she went over there and, and fought her sister. Okay? But oh, that, that wasn't enough for her to goddamn quit mess. That would have been, baby, I'd have, I'd have went and found that where you was. Now, mind you, she said that she done sent her money. She done sent her shit before. She didn't have an old address for her. I'd have been on the first goddamn thing smoking to that address. They end up getting into it again. Um, she ends up breaking up with CJ. When her and CJ are broken up, she ends up getting back with the baby daddy again, ends up getting pregnant again. She ends up telling CJ that she's pregnant. CJ cusses her all the way out, calls her all kinds of goddamn names, starts to threaten her and shit. So she gets pissed off at CJ, finally comes to her senses, and she cuts her off all to goddamn gather, right? Next thing you know, she said within this whole year, she's been like sort of stalking her for like a year afterwards. That's what it was like almost a year afterwards. She started stalking her to where she would make, Shay would make other accounts on POF and other social media outlets and whatnot. This half a goddamn CJ would fake to be other people. Once she would sort of befriend Shay, she would then come and talk to Shay from the fake page and be like, I had them reach out to you because I knew this was the only way you'd be able to talk to me. Girl, what? Child. So that had been going on for a while. She hadn't heard for from her up until a couple weeks ago. She says she ends up getting a message from her from a whole new IG page saying that she want to meet him. And here we is now. So it's time to investigate child. Neve and Tallulah end up starting off with the pictures. And of course, they end up finding her pictures just like that. Like it's nothing, child. She got a whole IG. Her name is Neek. Neek something. So there is a real tattoo that's there. I guess, for her name. But tattoos still look fake to me. I don't know. I'm just, the tattoo look fake to me. That's just what I'm saying. Anyway, so she also has an OnlyFans page. So they was basically able to verify that the girl she been talking to ain't really the girl she been talking to this whole goddamn time. Duh. That don't make, girl. Once again, even if that is a real goddamn tattoo, why would you think, or why would you not freaking, who gonna have their mama name being like that on their titty like that? But I'm just saying, I ain't, <laughs> girl. So they end up looking at the fake IG page that um, she has, the one that um, uh, CJ just hit her up from, right? And of course they can tell it's fake as hell and she only got one friend on there. The girl's name on there is April. Some older, middle-aged, country-ass looking white woman. Child, why does... MTV, as executive cash producer, I got to ask y'all a question. Why do y'all have people's hope when you see that it's not actually the person who y'all digging deep into? Why y'all put all their paper in? I mean, not all their paper, but they Facebook and all. I mean, I understand it's on a public platform, but you put their pictures out there, the kids' pictures, their dog, their husband, what the house look like, what the cars look like. Thank God. Damn. I mean, they put it all out there, but they end up sending April a message or whatnot, child. And another thing that was kind of off about the IG page is it was basically all sort of dedicated to Shay. Like, dang, we were so in love. Look what we could have had or look what we used to be. Just And it was all posted on the same day. Basically, like, she just made the page trying to get her back on some fucking weirdo shit. Just goddamn real, this weirdo. Need was starting to get deja vu because she was like, hold on, bitch, just taking me back about <laughs> About 20, 22, 23 years, same thing happened to him. Because, you know, that's the whole reason why Catfish started in the first goddamn place. It was an old white chick, had a whole family and shit, was pretending to be some young chick that was Catfish and Eve the whole goddamn time. And nigga ended up being a motherfucking millionaire off that shit. Thank you, bitch. Because I get a couple dollars in my pocket every month, too. 
So goddamn appreciate you, child. The next day, they end up getting back with Shay, letting her know the tea that's going on. Of course, she feels stupid now. She realized she done got somebody whole goddamn name tattooed on her. That ain't hers. Girl, I could have... Bitch, why didn't y'all tell me my forehead is shining bright like a diamond? I don't care, child, because when I tell you, I'm going to take a shower. <laughs> I'm going to soak the rest of these nails off. I'm going to drink me so wide. I'm going to fuck, child. So I didn't fuck. Girl, so April actually ends up calling them back. And when April calls them back, she asks, she's like, hey, Neve, it's April. Are you looking for me? Here I go. And he was like, oh, shit. Okay, well, look here. Do you know this chick named uh, CJ? Yep, I know her. And he was like, well, yeah. Well, how you know? Knowing it. Not even knowing, bitch. We already know, bitch. The jig is up. She was like, yeah, I know. Uh -huh. She used to be my um neighbor for a couple of years. She moved out. I ain't seen in a long time. I was actually looking for her. You know what I'm saying? But no, nah, I ain't talked to her. Nothing like that. But if you holler at let me know. I ain't really know that much, though. And he was like, oh, yeah. You sure you don't know it now? Okay. But uh check this out. When you go ahead and you 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 uh you you meet up with her, if you happen to see her, talk to her, let her know. We trying to holler at her. She's like, Yeah, let me see if I can find a what not. But uh yeah, if you holler at her before I do, just go and tell her I'm hollering, try to see what's going on. All right, cool. Soon as they hang up Nevelo, this bitch is sketchy. I don't believe nothing she got damn say. So at this point, Neve like, well, fuck it, go ahead and call her on IG, call her from the new page. Child, she calls, uh, Shay ends up calling CJ, and when she answered the phone and started talking immediately, the voice don't match the picture. Just like the tattoo don't match with the titty, bitch. It was just, it was giving fake. I'm like, Shay, come on, baby. Girl, just made me have scratch my head. Ain't no way. Ain't no way you didn't know that this wasn't this girl. Girl, I, I, I you, but then again, some people just be so blind that they want to fall in love and they want it to be real so bad, but it's just, it's sickening when the shit just, <laughs> anyways, old girl child. So she ends up calling CJ. CJ ends up agreeing to meet up with them. She going to send them an address. Child, they end up flying out to Atlanta. Now, mind you, this is the first time that CJ, I mean, uh, Shaden actually rode on the plane. So I'm excited for her child. Cause yeah, if anybody has ever flown for the first time, you already know it's cool. You like it. You get used to flying and you know what I'm saying? You become that girl, like a little frequent flyer or whatnot. This me. <laughs> anyway, so they end up going to the meetup spot. The address that she gave them, child, they go to the park. They get to the park, and this is lady sitting at the park, minding her own goddamn business with her blue goddamn wig on, smoking her joint, trying to sit at the park <laughs> and and watch the ducks. Why MTV come up with a whole ass goddamn camera? Child? Hey, hey, here come Neve. Are you? Are you CJ? She come right now, nigga. Go on, nigga. I'm trying to smile. Like, come up here. I could be doing some illegal shit, Neve. Like, move the fuck around. Child, next thing you know, Neve ends up getting a goddamn text message from CJ talking about, I was just scared. I thought I could do it, but I'm sorry. I can't do it. Bitch, really? So, of course, they mad. They got to go back to the hotel. They got to fucking reconvene because now... They don't know what the hell to goddamn do because they was all out there at the park waiting on this bitch. Next day, Neve ends up calling April. He's like, look here. I'm not going to be playing with this hoe. He calls April. He's like, look here. Or sends her a message. I'm going to need you to go ahead and do your connects. Reach out to this bitch. Let her know that we here. And we ain't going no goddamn well. Until she come out, ain't nobody going to jump you. Come on outside. April reaches back. I don't know where she is, but let me see if I can find her. Child, not even two, three minutes later. April gonna text back. I found it. Here go the address. She had an auntie house right here. I see now what, what now why y'all put me up in the shit? What I got to do with she had an auntie? She ain't over here. I ain't got nothing to do with that shit. <laughs> Girl, they get to the crib and CJ come out, child. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even gonna do it. But CJ, the pictures. Was this little petite, light skinned girl with all this hair with this big ass, neat tattoo on the titty and shit? And CJ, aka Tay, that's her real name, is anything but child. And her, her, her energy when she came out, before she even really got to talking, I already knew it's gonna be some shit with this one. I could 
feel the energy off the goddamn rip. Shy, she comes out. Now, of course, um, she admits that April <laughs> April gave her ass up. She snitched her ass out. She was like, look, I don't want to do this shit. They goddamn calling me. Bitch, I can't be on TV. Bitch, you know this shit I do. I can't fucking do it. So April and I already gave her ass away. Kudos to you, April. April said, I don't want to do with this fucking shit. Keep me out this shit. So, girl... CJ claims that she didn't know nothing about, um, oh, first of all, Asia is her, her cousin that her mother adopted. So that's like her cousin's sister. And she didn't know nothing about um, Shay getting a tattoo, that it was a surprise to her. Neve is calling bullshit left and right because Neve is mad. Neve is like, look here, you had us on a fucking goose chase yesterday. We're not going to do this shit. We know you lying. You ain't got to lie to goddamn kick it. Why who, Why did she steal a credit card information? She was like, no, that was my sister that did it. And and I, didn't, and I had to get on her for that and blah, blah, blah. Just lying about every fucking thing. Then the next thing you know, this heifer had the nerve, the audacity to say that, you know, you, uh, what did she say? Nothing. Basically, she wasn't taking accountability, accountability for everything. She was like, this ain't my fault. We not finna get up here and act like everything ain't your fault. Like, we was only broken up for one month, so technically you cheated on me. What? You cheated on me, and you got pregnant by this dude, and I'm not finna sit up here and go back and forth with you if you can't sit up here and be honest. Like, you can't be honest. And uh, uh, First of all, bitch, your whole existence was a lie. The nerve for you to sit up here and tell somebody that they need to be honest when your whole existence was a lie, girl, that's the audacity for me. Number one. Then gonna have the nerve to call Shay a slut. You a slut, bro. You can't keep your legs closed. And of course, that hurt. Like, how the fuck? And I get... Shay, we not going to sit here and leave you out because a lot of this, mama, you got to take accountability for Because a lot of this, this is just stupid. The red flags was all up in your smacking ass, all up in the fucking face. And you ain't got to get it. And that's your fault. But at the same time, uh, Tay, I, I, I like none of that. She was just mad. And of course, like I said, Shay is mad. Shay got to walk off. They got to reconvene. They go in the house. And once they go in the house, Tay sitting up here crying. And Shay just sitting up there, stone cold, stoic, looking straight ahead. She like, bitch, I'm not even falling for this shit. Not finna do it. Tay talking about, I just can't be friends with her because I love her and I was just so in love with her and she was the lover and she was the person that I really love but I don't want to open up them old wounds and, and I admit that that was me that took her money and, and I blamed it on my sister because I didn't want to seem like more of an asshole but I just can't be friends with her because the wounds is too fresh. God damn shade looking like bitch you guessing. Who says you had a chance to be my friend girl? You can kiss my whole ass at this point. That's the look that niece was given. Like, girl, who said we was going to be friends? I said that. Who said that? Who said we was going to be? Girl, bye. So afterwards, Nee was like, okay, well, you got anything else you want to say? Um, You want to hear? She like, nah, I'm good. Uh, we can go ahead and head to the house. Girl, go ahead head to the house. Shay says she good. Two-month checkup. They ain't talk sister filming, which is good. I wouldn't want to talk to her. What the fuck is we talking about? Girl, bye. Um, Shay says she's focusing on her daughters now, which you, uh, you know, let me shut up on that. She's focusing on her daughters. You know, she is scared to do online dating, which I don't blame you because these niggas out here is crazy. <laughs> they fucking crazy. Trust me. But look here, y'all. If there was anything that I missed. Oh, yeah. And then what's her name? Um, Tay. Say she working a girl. Tay, just stay your ass off the goddamn internet out here catfishing bitches and bitches catfishing and shit. And... Oh, have mercy. Y'all, if there's anything that I missed, y'all know what to do. Drop it down below. Let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, share, share me out. And I appreciate y'all for stopping by. See y'all later. Mm -hmm.